In this video, we're going through Python tool, which is described in the ChatGPT5 system prompt, which was published on social network X a couple of weeks ago. And uh, we are not insisting it's ChatGPT5 system prompt. Uh, we are just analyzing this document and trying to make sense of it. This is uh, the next part in this series. If you're interested in other tools, uh, please go and check the playlist, which is provided in the description. Uh, what we know from the system prompt is that the Python code, uh, which you are asking to run, or which is, uh, which is run by ChatGPT itself, is run in a stateful Jupyter 5 notebook. And uh, it has uh, this stateful notebook, it has no access to the internet, so it cannot uh, download anything from outside. If you need to provide some data uh, for the Python code to use, you should upload it into the, uh, into the chat window. Uh, all the data which you upload is stored under the, in the folder uh, slash mnt slash data. And then you can also uh, reference this uh, data which you upload uh, to this folder in your code. We also know that there is a response output time of uh, th uh, 60 seconds. Uh, 60 seconds uh, is actually described in this document. And uh, when I asked ChatGPT what's the response output time, uh, it told me that, that uh, it has been updated from 60 seconds to 300 seconds. So now it is better and uh, it is more. It basically means that uh, if the code is running for more than 60 seconds or 300 seconds, uh, the, um, the code will be stopped and you'll have no result. That's why I make sure uh, not, to, uh, not to provide uh, to this uh, Python tool something very complicated when you know that uh, in order to analyze the data you will need more than uh, more than this amount of seconds we also know from the system prompt that it used specifically matplotlib charting library it doesn't use the seaborn seaborn is uh, interactive and it's uh, it's let's say more advanced and matplotlib. We also know that uh, and I know that after conversation with ChatGPT itself that uh, Matplot uh, that uh, Seaborn can be actually used uh, in the Python environment by uh, ChatGPT, but it's used, let's say, secretly from the user. So the, the part which is outputted to the user, it's called Python user visible. That's the part visible to the user, is using only Matplotlib. While in the background, the Seaborn and other stuff which are not uh, defined in the system prompt can be used, but they are not visible to the user. As a result of this uh, analysis, I have created a cheat sheet or a wizard in the PDF format. If you want to download this uh, cheat sheet, please connect uh, to the Telegram community of Unreasonable AI and also to the school community. There you'll be able to find this PDF file and download it. Thank you for watching this video. We are almost approaching the end of this series uh, because we have gone through almost all the tools which are described in the system prompt. There are a couple of tools which are not super interesting. It's how, um, how system prompt defines uh, searching through the files which are uploaded uh, to ChatGPT. There will be another video about the Guardian tool, which is, uh, I think, quite interesting. And also we will have a video where I'll summarize all the results of my analysis of system prompt.